Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Nishita. Thank you so much for stopping by. And please hit that subscribe button and like button if you like this video. And in today's video, I'm going to be testing out a uh, Lancome foundation. It's their ultra long wear foundation. There is so much hype about this foundation on YouTube. So I wanted to test it out for myself and give you guys my thoughts. So I'm going to pull the claims of this foundation off of Sephora website and see what uh, the claims are. It's supposed to be an oil-free, uh, long-wearing liquid foundation which delivers medium to full coverage and it leaves a natural looking finish. So it's supposed to have a velvety matte finish that stays up to 24 hours. Uh, for And it's supposed to make your redness, pores and imperfections visibly disappear. And it's supposed to even the skin tone uh, leaving a mattified yet natural result. So I'm going to see if all those claims are true. So like always I'm going to use a beauty blender on one side and a brush on one side. So I'm going to take uh, two pumps of this foundation on the back of my hand. Oh uh, and the shade that I got is 425 Bisque Warm. So I'm going to use a brush on one side. And I'm going to blend it all out. I hope I hit the record button. Okay, I did. Okay, uh, the foundation seems uh, pretty good on my skin right now. It blended out really well. Uh, and I, I would say it's a medium coverage foundation, but I have a feeling you can definitely build this up. So I'm going to add one extra layer at the end and see how this foundation layers. So actually, I, I didn't. I still have uh, half a pump left on my hand, so a little bit goes a long way with this foundation. And it could also be because I used a brush. So we, uh, with the Beauty Blender, it might take up more uh, foundation. So I'm just going to uh, use my Beauty Blender and blend it down on the other side. Okay, so on the back of my hand I do see it oxidized just a little bit yeah as you can see the color difference uh, this is a bit light this is the pump that I just put on the back of my hand and this was the pump that I got first so it did oxidize a little bit you, you guys see the difference uh, so this is lighter than this dot so it, do, it does oxidize a little bit Okay, uh, so based on uh, first impressions, I think uh, sponge and brush both work really well with this foundation. I don't see much difference in the finish on either sides of my face. So if you prefer a brush, go with a brush. If you uh, prefer a beauty blender like I do, go with a beauty blender. Both seem to work just fine. Uh, right off the bat, I really love how this foundation looks on my skin. It looks really natural but not too matte. Uh, it does have that natural finish. Uh, uh, and looking up close my skin looks really good I don't feel like I have anything on my skin it is really lightweight uh, and it definitely is medium coverage foundation but you can definitely build it up to a full coverage because I did layer the foundation a little bit here to cover my acne spots it seemed to have done a good job and it does not look cakey or anything like that so I really love how this foundation looks so far uh, I'm going to apply the rest of my makeup off camera and come back and tell you guys how everything layered on top and then I'm going to do a wear test, go about my day, come back at the end of my day and give you guys my final thoughts. That's how I do my foundation reviews in general. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. So uh, I've done my makeup off camera. I got a little bit carried away doing all the eyeshadows and stuff. But uh, here I am now and everything went on really well. My blush, my bronzer, my concealer. I did not have trouble blending anything out. So far, I really love this foundation uh, because it's not settling into my smile lens yet. But one thing to keep in mind is that it oxidizes just a little bit right after you apply it. And I didn't see uh, any oxidization after that. So, but it does uh, oxidize a little bit when you first apply it. So far, the foundation looks really good. It is holding up really well. It's not settling into my smile lines or anything. So far, I really like it. So I'm going to wear this foundation throughout the rest of my day, come back at the end of my day and give you guys my final thoughts and tell you guys how the foundation did. But so far, I am really loving it. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a few hours. Hi guys. Uh, so it's been seven and a half hours since I've had this foundation on. And it's really hot in here, the lights are killing me. 
anyways uh, so i'm here to share my final thoughts and i'm going to start off by saying that i really love this foundation first i'm going to start off with the pros because there are so many of them and i think everything that this foundation claims is true it's really long wearing it's really light on the skin and it does have that uh, satin matte finish also keep in mind that i did not powder my skin when i first applied my makeup and i did not do any touch ups and the foundation still looks really good and and none of my grayness is peeking through this foundation usually after wearing a foundation for 7 and 1/2 hours usually i see a little bit of grayness peeking through so if you're someone who has uh, discoloration issues i would definitely give this a uh, try and i totally recommend you try this foundation go to sephora get a sample and see for yourself this foundation is really good and i totally recommend it to you guys and only one con that i want to say is that it oxidizes a little bit when you first apply it but then the oxidization stops uh, so but it i think it oxidizes to a shade deeper then uh, the original color so that's one thing to keep in mind when you're picking your color other than that i have nothing bad to say about this foundation it's really long lasting and i think it makes your skin look flawless so yeah uh, definitely give this one a try because i really love it and i think you guys will love it too so also leave me a comment down below if you guys want me to review any other products on my channel i am very happy to do that for you guys and that's the end of this video thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you all in my next video bye